And I think the one variable in this that scares people, there's never been a guy who's 6'7", 282 pounds that plays late into his career. There haven't been many players that actually play at that size in baseball anyway. And when you look at the players that have, they've lasted to maybe 35 or 36. This is a contract. He's going to be 31 yeah. when this season begins, when the first year begins. So if you give him a 10-year deal, you are going out 10 years to 41 years. You see what happened with the Pujols contract and right. the Rodriguez contract. Are you willing to sign up for those dead years at the end, the Cano contract? 10-year contracts usually don't end up great. Do you think that the idea of a captaincy, there's no price tag on that, but that could be a sweetener? I don't know if that's going to like like let him leave thirty million dollars on the right, table for right. another team. I, I just think that if they do sign him to a long term deal, he's the obvious choice to be the captain. He's homegrown. He certainly has assumed that role in that clubhouse. Uh, the players respect him to an unbelievable degree. I think that's a natural, but I don't think it's enough of a hook to just make up for another year or many tens of millions of dollars. And I think we think that the Yankees have to be really close on that number. There's no homegrown discount, that type of thing, or hometown discount. But having said that, we've seen this happen to other players, and this is no knock on San Francisco, or whether you're playing with the Angels or the Dodgers. There is a marketing opportunity with the Yankees being in pinstripes, and Aaron Judge already has some of those relationships in place. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, he could say, well, the six or seven years that I spent in pinstripes, in the 62 home runs, I'm going to take that star with me wherever I go. Remember, LeBron James became iconic in Cleveland and Peyton Manning became yep. iconic in Indianapolis. It's a little bit of a different world. It's kind of a small village because of the Internet. Everybody gets every single game. So I, I think there's a, certainly a positive to being in New York. Ask Derek Jeter, ask Joe Namath, ask Mickey Mantle. If you make it in New York, as Frank said, you can make it anywhere. Well, he's already made it in New York. But does he want his star to live in New York? Does he want number 99 on that back wall on left center field? Does he want to have Aaron Judge Day? You know, if you injected uh, Robinson Cano with truth serum, is he happy that he went to Seattle for the extra years? The Yankees actually gave him more per year in a seven-year deal, and he took a million dollars less per year to have 10 years in Seattle. Well, he's still collecting money, right. but his star has sunk. Yep.